Yes guys, welcome back to the YouTube. So today we are taking through a full day of eating, okay? A lot of guys have been asking for this. So uh, just for the video purposes, we're gonna do the shopping list first and then we'll take you through breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. So uh, yeah, let's make it happen. First things first, you're gonna need a basket. Owen, what are you doing, mate? I thought we were doing weekly show. But, I thought we were doing full day of eating. Are you going to eat condoms? Oh. I thought we were just doing weekly shop. This is my weekly shop, isn't it? Right, guys, what are you going to do? Go to your personalised meal plan right here. Shopping list. Down to around do, 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 mixed berries. This is all your day one here. So we're gonna need some protein powder. We've already got that at home because we get it free. <laughs> Thank you, Proses. Um, I'm gonna need some oats. All right. I like microwavable oats just because it's a lot easier and simple. All right. I get my little packets. It's just easy. Easy for me to uh, go about it. Some almond milk. So I like the Alpro. I'm not gonna get that one. Cheers, Tesco. If you like the Alpro, guys, there is like cheaper versions. And if some of you have actually got a budget, then obviously the Blue Diamond ones, they're always quite cheap. All right. 150, 170, uh, but there is Tesco, the Tesco is for one pound. pound. Yeah, it's all the same. Like, I wouldn't advise people, at, I like to shop at Tesco, all right? Tesco or Costco. Costco is amazing because it's cheap, but if I'm going to do like a weekly shop or something, I'll probably just come to Tesco because it's it's nearer my place than somewhere like Aldi, but you are probably better off getting your food from Aldi just because it's a lot cheaper if you are on a budget, if you are a student, etc. As you can see guys, next on the list, apple, medium, approximately 160 grams. So I'm just going to go get six apples, all right? Next. Nuts, Brazil nuts. Shout out to Brazil. Nuts! <laughs> right guys, these are both in a plan, all right? But you can substitute, obviously, um, the Brazil nuts for the almonds. So, so to, they're both in the plan, you can buy both if you want, or you can just use one. Also on the shopping list, soft apricots, guys. Fucking nuts. Right guys, also on your shopping list is British chicken thigh fillets. Thigh. Uh, it's cheaper, it tastes nicer, it's got a little bit more fat in. Um, so let's add that to the basket. Also, turkey uncooked weight. Uh, so, here we go. Some uh, mini breast fillets, British turkey, Tesco's finest. Also, we've got brown rice, dairy Greek yogurt, and some mixed vegetables of your choice. Spinach, baby spinach, olive oil, already got olive oil at home, and dairy, dairy cheddar cheese. Next on the list, green veg. Now, a lot of people buy this fresh, and I don't know why, because if you actually buy it fresh, it's gonna go off sooner, all right? So I like to get my greens actually frozen, especially if on your budget, guys. So, broccoli, I'd either get broccoli, because they're easy, or, Green fucking Yangas. Green beans, not Yangas. Don't know why I said that. <laughs> In the cheese aisle. Love me a bit of cheese. That's this organic medium cheddar cheese, all right? This one's gonna hurt, but missed it. Next item is Dairy Greek yogurt, guys, unsweetened, so you can get the 5% fat option. This tastes a lot better. Both unsweetened, but we're gonna go for the 0% fat option, okay? Guys, if you're on a budget as well, you can also get the... That's the Tesco finest, Tesco. that's not a budget, son. All right, this is a budget down here. All right, the Tesco Greek style yogurt, that is a budget. Tesco's finest is still cheaper though, than, yeah. than Farge. Still. Than Farge. Farge. We love a bit of Farge. Last item on the shopping list is mixed berries. Go on, get in there, so. Fuck you. 
you looking at? <laughs> See you back at home. See you later, pal. Back there. So guys, after you've got your shopping list, we've got breakfast, oats, almond milk, close this organic way. Then you're gonna move on to your first snack, which is nuts and apple. Then we've got dinner, chicken, cheese, baby spinach, whole green beans. Then we've got snackers, second snack, uh, some more nuts and some dried apricots. Then we've got dinner, tea, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Uh, rice, some turkey, uh, some more nuts, and then we've got some yogurt and some mixed berries as well. Don't forget your scales because you need to weigh it all the fuck out. Right guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to cook it meal by meal for you. Uh, as we're cooking it, we're going to give a nutritional breakdown of obviously each meal and show you what you're actually going to get on a customised programme from us. Breakfast. So what we're gonna do is have three scoops of organic whey proses. Okay, you're gonna be in a fasted state so your body can absorb more than 30 grams. Protein, normally you would have around about 30 grams of protein per sitting, but as you've just woken up, we're gonna double up on the protein. Three packs of oats. Here is 30 grams each, so 90 grams in here, and it is. 370 milliliters of almond milk. So here we go. So guys, in there for three minutes. I like my oats creamy again. We've overloaded on the protein, so you're gonna be in a fasted state. So your body will be able to absorb more protein. So we had three scoops of the uh, organic way right here from Proses. You're gonna be in a dehydrated state as well, guys, waking up. So taking in two liters of water per day, again, when you wake up, you're gonna be very dehydrated. So get some water down here. Um, I prefer bottled water than tap water. So you don't have to eat this breakfast every day, guys. So within the app, we have different breakfasts all laid out. If you are getting bored of this, if this is within your workout program, your customized workout program, all you gotta do, if you are getting bored of this, just press that button there. That sends a notification to me and Lewis to change a meal. We will then go on to change a meal to something else with the same macronutrient content as the last meal, um, and we will just find a replacement for you. So after your breakfast, um, my breakfast, then we're gonna go for a mid-morning snack. Snack. Uh, you can have one apple and your Brazil nuts, which is a very healthy source of fats, okay? After this, we're gonna move on to lunch. Obviously, you have got your chicken thigh here. Uh, remember, chicken thigh's got a little bit more fat in. Um, obviously, this is just to make it taste a little bit nicer. If you're on a cutting pan with us, this will be predominantly chicken breast, okay? The reason why I've got chicken thigh is because I'm fucking massive. Um, obviously, you've got your cheese there, your spinach, and your green beans. Now, remember what I said in the supermarket, these are frozen. The reason why they're frozen is because they're gonna last longer. If I bought them fresh, then they're gonna go out of date, and then it's, you just, you know, you're gonna waste that food. Uh, we've got your spinach, which is a good source of iron, and we've got your cheese. Now, guys, cheese is not great for you, okay? But if I just gave you chicken thigh, spinach, and some green beans, you're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? Um, so this is just for like a little bit more flavor, and obviously you need some fats in your diet as well. You didn't see it, but I did put some oil in the pan before I actually started cooking it. Alright, so we're gonna cooking it without oil. So guys, while my chicken thigh is cooking, I'm gonna put my green beans in the microwave. Okay, so I'll put them on for around four minutes. Right guys, so it's all cooked. I've had some Brazil nuts actually while we're waiting. Um, obviously I like my cheese quite melted in. Um, should be a bit of consistency. If you want, you can put some salt on it, just a little bit, and that comes out. <laughs> right, there's about 600 calories 
uh, in that. Um, 52 grams of protein, I think. Remember guys, this is my maintenance, so this is my customized plan on my app, okay? So um, you got to think that I'm holding probably a lot more mass than you know you. I'm fucking massive, Anna, do you know what I mean? So, um, so I've got to, you know, be averaging out at least 3,000 to 3,200 3, calories to maintain, obviously. Second snack, we have 30 grams of dried apricots and 45 grams of almonds. Took me like three hours to prepare that. That is your second snack, okay? Here's something we prepared earlier. So, this is turkey on rice, brown rice, green beans, um, almonds, and some lean turkey, okay? Turkey is a little bit leaner than chicken, so it is later on in the day, so we have a low carb meal right here. Right, so last meal is we have got the 0% fat, farge, farge, um, Greek yogurt, and then we have also got the mixed berries, so um, taking this up to 150 grams. Right, and then I'm gonna take it up to 215, with berries. There we go, 216. And then guys, we put a scoop of protein in there as well. Right guys, so we've mixed it around. Guys, if you're getting a bit peckish late at night, this is perfect, okay? So you've got berries. Berries are actually uh, a fruit with the lowest amount of sugar in, okay? So we don't wanna be taking too much sugar at night. And as you can see, it just basically looks like ice cream. And it's perfect. For a late night snack, guys, this is what you need to be having. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that gives you some sort of insight onto what we actually eat through, through the day. Um, guys, stay tuned for the next video because it's gonna have women in it. <laughs> <laughs>